Hey guys, let's talk about Daphne Sharika Tulos. Daphne was born on November 2nd, 1980, and she's been missing since July 26, 1988 from Jackson, Mississippi. At the time of her disappearance, she was 7 years old, 3 feet 7 and 55 pounds. She's an African-American female with black hair and brown eyes. Her ears are pierced. Daphne is epileptic and requires daily medication to control her seizures and other symptoms. She did not have her medication with her when she vanished. If she goes for longer than three days without her medication, she will suffer frequent seizures, which are often preceded by severe headaches. Daphne was last seen walking in her hometown of Jackson, Mississippi on July 26, 1988. She lived with her grandparents in the 4400 block of Azalea Circle in North Jackson, while her mother lived in an apartment on Bailey Avenue. Daphne left her grandparents' residence between 7 and 8 p.m. after getting into an argument with her mother over some fish sticks. She was last seen walking toward Northside Drive. Daphne has never been heard from again. It's uncharacteristic of her to stay away from home after dark. Daphne's biological father was ruled out as a suspect in her case. He is now deceased. At the time of her disappearance, authorities were investigating allegations that her mother's boyfriend, Ernest Lee Epps, the father of Daphne's two-year-old twin brothers, had essayed her in June of 1988. Daphne had told an aunt that Epps had touched her inappropriately on June 29th while she was asleep. Epps maintained his innocence but was arrested on July 8th and charged with sexual battery. At one point, Epps' family offered the Tulos family $175 to drop the complaint against him, but they refused. He was released on bail on the morning of July 26th. Daphne went missing that same evening. In spite of the timing, police were unable to tie Epps to her disappearance. He later passed a polygraph in her case, as did Daphne's mother. Epps is now deceased. Authorities got tips about Daphne's whereabouts from as far away as Michigan, but they were never able to determine the child's fate. She would have started second grade in the autumn of 1988. Her case remains unsolved. If you have any information, please call the Jackson Police Department at 601-960-1234 or the FBI at 202-324-3000.